name is Miss Melissa with Preschool Learning Garden. We're going to be learning about the frog's body. And I need your help labeling all the different parts of a frog's body. And we're also going to be learning all kinds of interesting facts about what a frog can do. Let's have fun learning about frogs. Okay, the first one we're going to learn about are eyes. These are the frog's eyes. They're located at the top of the head. The frog's eyes can do something really cool. When they catch food, the eyelids will close and the eyes will go in the back of its head and help push the food down to its belly. Whoa, isn't that so cool? So the eyes actually help the frog to eat their food. And they also help them to see things. Another cool fact is that frog eyes can be all different colors and shapes on different frogs. Some frogs even have star-shaped frog eyes. Wow. The next one right here on this part of the head, I bet you can guess what that is. The nose or the nostrils. That's a new word for you, nostrils. The nostrils are the actual part that helps you to smell. And frogs have those too. Mouth. Oh, there's some cool things that a frog can do with their mouth. Not only can they eat with their mouth, but their tongue, instead of it being at the back of their throat, like ours, their tongues are connected to the front of their mouth. And it helps them to stretch out their tongue really far and snap food. That is so neat that their tongues can stretch out really far. One other cool thing is their teeth. They have tiny little bitty teeth. Well, frogs don't actually chew up their food. They swallow their food whole. So their tongues reach out really far, snap the food back to their mouth, and their eyes help push it down solid whole. They don't even chew it up. So flies and dragonflies and spiders, they'll snap them and swallow them whole. That is really cool. This next one is the belly. That's where the food goes. One other cool fact about their belly is when they're walking or moving, a lot of times you won't really see feet prints. You'll see belly prints or like they're scooting along on their belly because it's so low. The next one are the webbed feet. Some frogs have sticky feet and help them to climb on trees and other things in the environment. And they can stick to it as they climb and walk. Other frogs have really wide skin in between their webbed feet. Like the flying tree frog. The flying tree frog has really thick skin in between and when they go from tree to tree they can glide and almost like they're flying 
The next one is the skin. Their skin is really interesting. They can breathe through their skin. Wow, how cool is that? We can only breathe through our nose and our mouth. But frogs can also breathe through their skin. They also have slimy skin. Toads, on the other hand, are dry and bumpy. But frogs have slimy skin. And they need to stay wet. That's why they'll live near water. So that when they start to get dry, they can get back into the water and get wet. They have to stay wet and moist or else they'll get sick and die. So that's really important for the skin of the frogs to stay wet. And that's probably why they stay so slimy. The last one we're gonna learn about are their ears. Their ears are located right behind their eyes, sort of on the sides of their heads. And they have special ears because they're called tympanums. Tympanums means that they are eardrums. And when they hear things, it vibrates. And a cool fact is that it's connected all the way down to their lungs. Whoa! So when they hear things, it goes and vib it vibrates all the way down to their lungs and helps them to hear. Also, the size and the distance between each of them on their head determines how loud they are. Some frogs can be so loud, you wonder how it doesn't hurt them. Well, that's because it vibrates down to their lungs and helps protect them. I hope you enjoyed learning about what frogs can do. They are very interesting. Let's finish with a word of prayer. Get your prayer hands ready. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your prayer hands. Dear God, thank you so much for frogs and all that we can learn from them. They are very interesting. Help us to let our light shine for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day, and let your light shine for Jesus.